In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Order Anywhere feature in ShopSite. I'm going to show you using WordPress and a ShopSite starter store. So here you see I have my WordPress blog. I've already set up a couple posts. The first one just has a paragraph talking about a product. The second one highlights a few different products. And the third one talks only about one specific product. Each of these blog posts is going to use a different Order Anywhere feature available in ShopSite. So to start, let's use this first one. This blog post talks about a plain white t-shirt, but it doesn't actually have any specific product information, like the price, or an image, or the Add to Cart button. So what I'm going to do is use ShopSite's Order Anywhere feature to add all of the product information into this blog post. So, log into your ShopSite store, go to Products, and add the product that you want to display. I've already added the white t-shirt. If you go into Product Info, make sure that you have all the information that you want. The price, the SKU, the description, and any pull-down menus or ordering options that you want. Once you have the product set up, go to Merchandising, and then click on Order Anywhere. Highlight the product you added, and then click on Show Code. The default in new stores is the Show Embed feature. If it, this, you don't see this section right here, you can click on Show Embed at the bottom, and it'll bring up that feature. You can resize the window however you want or change the layout. There's two default layouts. One is made for a little bit wider screen, so if I had my full wide screen or if I had a wide blog, I'd probably use the advanced layout, which also includes a longer product description and additional images. If you choose the basic layout, it puts it in just two different columns, your image on one side and your description and pull-down menus on the other. This is the layout I want, so I'm going to set pull my window to the width that I want, and make sure it's as high as I want it to be. Once you have it set up the way you want, select the code on the left hand side, copy it, and then return to whatever program you want it to be displayed in. So in my case, I'm returning to WordPress, but you could also paste this into an email newsletter or a regular website or wherever you want this to appear. So I'm going to go to WordPress, find the blog post I want it to be displayed in, and click on Edit. Once I'm in the blog post, because I'm using the HTML version, I need to switch from the visual view to the HTML view. Put your cursor in the box where you want the HTML to be placed, and then paste it. Save changes, so I'm going to click on Update, and once you've saved those changes, you can view your blog or email or website to see the new Order Anywhere feature on your pages. So if I view my blog, you now see that same section that I had in ShopSite right here displayed on my blog right here. The next type of Order Anywhere is just for the Add to Cart buttons. So in my second post, I already have a list of images and product names, so all I need to add is the Add to Cart button. So let's start with the Aqua t-shirt. If I go into my Order Anywhere, click on OK to go back one screen, highlight the Aqua t-shirt, and then again click on Show Code. Instead of doing the Embed option, all I want is to show the HTML for the Add to Cart buttons. So right here in my preview, you see the pull-down menu, and then an Add to Cart and a View Cart button. So in my text field off to the left, copy all of the code, return to the program you want to paste it in, so in my case I'm returning to WordPress, and editing it. Again, I want to be in the HTML side. So right now, since I was in the HTML side for the last post, it's already in the HTML side. If I click on Visual, you can see what it's visually going to look like. But under HTML, I'm going to find where I want it to be pasted, so right after the Aqua t-shirt, put my cursor there, and then click on Paste. I do want to eliminate a little bit of the extra code, um, so I'm going to just remove some of these extra spaces. And I also want to remove the View Cart button because I only want the Pull Down menu and the Add to Cart button. So if I click right here, you see this is the View Cart button. I can delete that code. 
and then save changes so click on update and then again return to my blog so click on visit site so if I scroll down you'll see now I have my product image name and then the pull down menu with the add to cart button so I can go ahead and click on say medium click on add to cart and it's going to go to my shop site shopping cart so let's continue shopping return back to my blog and do our third order anywhere button in this section I already have a large image of my product and a product description all I want to do is make this text by this yellow t-shirt now a link that adds that product to the cart so if I go back to my order anywhere click on OK to return back to the list of products I'm gonna click on the yellow t-shirt and then click on show code it's gonna default to the last one that I used so it's gonna show the show HTML preview I wanna to switch to just show the URLs two URLs are gonna be displayed the add to cart URL and the view cart URL for my store I only need the add to cart URL because I'm only making one link so I'm gonna copy this code or this link and then return to my WordPress so click on edit but this time I can actually use the WordPress settings to create the code I need for me so if I go to visual scroll down and highlight the text that I want so that text right there and then click on this link feature to create a link out of that text I'm gonna go ahead and just paste my URL in here make the title be buy this yellow t-shirt and then click on add link now I'm gonna update the blog and view it so once it's updated click on visit site and then I should be able to just click on that link and go and add it to the cart so click on buy this yellow t-shirt go to my shop site shopping cart and there's the yellow t-shirt with just the link I still need to select the size pull down menu but it makes it so that I can have the link right in the middle of the text so this completes the video tutorial on the order anywhere options available in shop site